here we are collecting single stain controls for compensation using the BD compensation wizard. We have on our sample a Fitzy stain sample showing a nice clear positive peak and a negative peak. Here's our positive peak, here's our negative peak. When you run compensation, it is very important not to rely on a universal negative, and that each sample have a positive and negative control in the same tube. To identify the negatives in this tube, we are going to use a histogram gating tool and create a P3 gate shown here. Now that we've identified the positive and negatives, we're going to collect 10,000 events before we move on to our next tube, PE. It's important to understand when you collect compensation controls that you should you collect a minimum of 10,000 bead events and a minimum of about 50,000 cell events to get good compensation. Now that the system is done, we'll move to our PE control. As we load our PE control, we see the set same setting, a P1 gate and a P2 gate. P1 gate is identified on forward and side scatter and we'll identify the cells of interest. Our P2 gate, we will now move over to identify the positives shown here and also need to get on the negative shown here. Again, we will collect 10,000 total events Once this is completed, we'll be able to compensate the sample correctly using the automatic logic that the software will run. This is in contrast to using the by eye or matched median method that other instruments and people have been trained to in the past. There are three fundamental rules for compensation, and as long as those three rules are observed, you will ensure that you have proper compensation.